this same tissue that forms a corpus spongiosum becomes the bulb of the penis back in here. And what did I say surrounds a bulb? Skeletal muscle that causes ejaculation. It forces the semen out through the erected uh, penis here. Another thing, too, I get this from students all the time. I'll put a piece of tape across here and I'll say on the thing, what erectile body is this tape on? And I'll get urethra. <laughs> if I want urethra, I'll put an exact pointer. I'll say, what tube is that right there? But this whole thing that it's in is the corpus spongiosum. So if I'm looking for an erectile body, I'm either looking for the corpus cavernosum or the corpus spongiosum, one of the two. And the cavernosum is out here, and the spongiosum is there. So I think that's pretty good for this one. Uh, I think we covered most everything. Um, just as a question, do you know what that blue thing right there is? No. <laughs> water is, we kind of think of sometimes, uh, you know, the light playing through water makes it look blue, yeah, but what tissue do we usually color blue on drawings and stuff? I wouldn't necessarily expect you to remember that. Cartilage. Oh. That is oh, yeah. fibrocartilage, oh. and it forms the pubic symphysis. It holds the two pelvic bones together up front. And that's the pubic symphysis there. Um, what's this? Rectum. Let's get that male out of the way and look at this male. Pretty much the same stuff except presented differently. Uh, I'll go th I'll quickly through this one because we've, we've done the same thing over there. Uh, don't worry about the layers here because it's too hard to see. It doesn't come apart. There's a testis, there's an epididymis. We see the artery in the vein right here. We can see also a ductus deferens. But now, I'm sorry not everybody can see this clearly as you're photographing it there, but starting here and going back into here is a channel that is open. It's not closed. What's the channel call that structures are going through? You, you're not going to remember that, are you? <laughs> Inguinal canal. Inguinal canal. That's, that's what the structures go through. And you can see the ductus deferens passing through it, coming medial to the ureter. And then down behind, there's a, a seminal vesicle that's kind of coming apart on me here. There's your seminal vesicle <laughs> there. What's that? Prostate. Prostate. That? Bladder. Bladder. Now, one thing I like to use for this, I like to use it for other stuff too, and even the penis and all that, but one thing is good for this is I can tilt it right there. I'm sorry, so more people can see it. Nice bladder. It's got the urethral opening or orifice there, part of the trigon, rugi, what muscle is in the bladder? Detrusor. The urethra coming down. Prostate. Let me get around here so I can so you can see it better. There's the prostate gland right there, the urethra, and what channel would that be? Ejaculatory. Ejaculatory duct. Now you can see all of it because we got it yeah. cut at an angle. Yeah. If you cut it exactly sagittally, you won't see it all because it comes in like a you know at a shallow angle. Uh, that would be the ampulla of the ductus deferens mm. right there. And right over there around it is the seminal vesicle someplace, too. Here are some of those muscles I talked about that are around the bulb. The bulbospongiosis and ischiocavernosis muscle and all that. There's the what? Rectum. So, pretty good. And we can also see the, the if you open that up, you can see the uh, corpus cavernosum, the spongiosum. You won't do 